He has a great respect for the military. Not only has Mark played a few military roles, he's also outspoken in his support for the armed forces. For actors who sit there and talk about, oh, I went to SEAL training. I don't give a F asterisk CK what you did. You don't know what these guys did. For somebody go sit there and say my job was as difficult as being in the military. How F asterisk seeking dare you, while you sit in a makeup chair for two hours, source in DB. He's won a whole array of awards. He's won awards in both music and film, both positive and negative. In the early 90s his hit Good Vibrations hit number one on the Billboard charts. He's also ranked first on V Holmes, hottest hotties of the 90s. On the flip side, Rolling Stone readers voted him the worst male singer of the year in 1992. Film work has been better for Mark. As of July 2010, he has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and he was even nominated for a Best Supporting Actor Academy Award for his work in The Departed. He made sure the fighter got made. David O. Russell's The Fighter was revered by critics and audiences alike, but it very nearly didn't get made. For years, Walber pushed to tell the story of Irish Mickey Ward from Lowell, Mass, and endured countless rewrites, multiple directors, and actors coming in and out of the project. Everyone from Brad Pitt to Matt Damon was attached before Bale came on. He kept the film going for more than four years, training with Freddie Roach Pacquiao's coach in a full gym and boxing arena he built in his basement for the film. He even got Christian Bale cast as his brother Dickie. Their kids go to school together and he asked him one day if he was interested. That role later got Bale an Oscar. He came to fame with the help of his brother Donnie. At just 13 years old, Mark joined his big brother Donnie's boy band, the New Kids on the Block. He was a founding member alongside Jordan and Jonathan Knight, Danny Wood, and Donnie. There are two shows loosely based around his life. The hit HBO series Entourage is loosely based around Wahlberg's early years in Hollywood. Vince equals Mark, Aquaman equals Perfect Storm, etc. Wahlberg has guest appeared on the show many times and is one of its executive producers. He also appears from time to time on the reality show Wahlbergers, based around the burger chain of which he is a co-owner. He received his high school diploma in 2013. In a continued effort to right the wrongs he made as a kid, Mark Wahlberg got his high school diploma in June of 2013. Having dropped out when he was just 14, it took him until 41 to hit the books. He credits his kids with the inspiration to finally do it. I didn't want the kids saying, you didn't do it, so why do I need it? They are all wanting to do things in their future that require an education. He may even continue his education. I would love to go to USC and study film. I don't want to become a veterinarian or anything. I want to study things that further my career and broaden my horizon. He was the original choice for two iconic roles. Mark Wahlberg has dropped out of two iconic roles in hugely influential films. He was originally cast as Innes Del Mar in Brokeback Mountain, the role that eventually went to Heath Ledger, earning him his first Oscar nomination. He was also cast as Linus in the Ocean's films. The role they eventually went to Matt Damon, we guess they really wanted a Boston boy. 
he has a long-running deal with Matt Damon. For some reason people tend to confuse Matt Damon with Mark Wahlberg. They've both agreed that whenever someone thinks they are the other, they have to be on their very best behavior, so as to not ruin either reputation. Matt will even sign autographs Mark Wahlberg, and Mark will sign Matt Damon. Yes, it's true. He has a third nipple. Turns out roughly one in 18 men has a third nipple which is just as useless as the other two and Mark Wahlberg is among them. In a few movies Rockstar, for example, they opted to digitally airbrush it out, but in Shooter you can see it clear as day. For years he kept mum about it, but eventually opened up about his extra nipple. That is correct. He told Australia's Nova FM when asked if it were true, right below the other one. It's actually the size of an infant's nipple, it didn't grow. He has no plans of losing it either. I've come to embrace it, he told Rolling Stone, that thing is my prized possession. He's been to prison. Mark's rocky past is no secret, but he was charged with a pretty serious crime at one point. He was arrested on attempted manslaughter charges and faced two years in prison. Wahlberg only served 45 days, but those were enough to decide to turn his life around. As soon as I began that life of crime, there was always a voice in my head telling me I was going to end up in jail. Three of my brothers had done time. My sister went to prison so many times I lost count. Finally, I was there, locked up with the kind of guys I'd always wanted to be like. Now I'd earned my stripes and I was just like them, and I realized it wasn't what I wanted at all. I ended up in the worst place I could possibly imagine, and I never wanted to go back. First of all, I had to learn to stay on the straight and narrow. Source, Google Book, The Amazing Life of Mark Wahlberg. He's got a very long criminal record. Mark had 2025 incidents on his record with the Boston Police Department throughout his teen years. By 13, he was addicted to cocaine and other substances. By 14, he had dropped out of high school never to return. He did get his GED later. At 15, he had a civil action lawsuit filed against him for two instances of harassing African-American children, including throwing rocks and shouting slurs. He's since publicly apologized numerous times and does everything he can to be a better role model. Source Boomspeed He's trying to get an official pardon for his felony. A 16-year-old Wahlberg assaulted Hoa Johnny Trin so violently that he faced attempted murder charges. Wahlberg also thought that he permanently blinded the man in one eye, but that injury was sustained during the Korean War. He plead guilty and was sentenced to prison for two years of which he served 45 days but would forever have felony charges on his record. Recently, Wahlberg has come out seeking a full pardon, stating he's turned his life around and has become a good influence. Even the victim, Johnny Trin, is in support of the pardon. My hope is that, if I receive a pardon, troubled youths will see this as an inspiration and motivation that they too can turn their lives around. Source time. Come. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below. And also, thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to see you in the next video. Then, take care. Bye.